Uh, my name is Matthew Sinclair and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, the work we've been doing here at Imperial on automating fetal biometrics using deep convolutional neural networks. So the measurement of uh, fetal biometrics is uh, of key importance to monitoring the healthy development of fetuses. Um, and this is quite a labor-intensive process that uh, sonographers who are trained with um, several years of practice um, become adept at. Uh, what you can see here in the background is the manual annotation of a fetal um, abdomen uh, from a 2D ultrasound scan. Um, this process is quite uh, time-consuming and um, is subject to large inter-observer variability. Um, fortunately, what we've done here is we've collected uh, a large number of patient cases, approximately 2,000 um, subjects, um, from whom we also have the annotations. Uh, what this allows us to do is to train a model to uh, learn to segment and to annotate these images um, automatically. Uh, what we found is that um, using deep convolutional neural networks, we've been able to uh, reproduce inter-observer variability um, using our model for the annotation of both the abdomen and the head. Um, what we can see here is a real-time automated annotation of the abdominal circumference from these 2D scan plane um, images. Similarly, we have uh, an algorithm that is able to annotate the head, um, both in terms of measuring its circumference as well as the diameter of the head, uh, which are key biometrics used by sonographers to assess a fetus. So in this image we can see that there's a green dotted line which the sonographer has drawn on and is actually adjusting in order to make their measurement, uh, but we also see superimposed on that is a yellow line which is uh, determined automatically from the biometrics model. Um, and we can see the automatic measurement uh, made here and we can see the measurement that is being made by the sonographer down here. And we can see that they're within about 2% of one another. So we're using a fully convolutional network, which gives you a pixel-wise uh, segmentation of an image. And we've trained it to identify um, as foreground either the region within the abdomen um, or the region within the head. There's two separate models. Um, once we have that region, um, there's a simple ellipse fitting step which you can apply um, in real time to these segmentations in order to fit an ellipse um, in order to make the measurement that a clinician would typically make using a tool um, as part of their imaging suite. When you see the blue flashes, these are saliency maps um, of the detected foreground labels, um, which is actually using previous work uh, from a paper called Sononet by Christian Baumgartner. Uh, and this was um, using a convolutional neural net to classify standard planes. Um, there are, I think, typically 14 standard planes which clinicians have to find uh, by navigating uh, the ultrasound probe um, across the, the mother's abdomen through the, the fetus. Um, and this allows them to find the relevant planes in order to make measurements um, such as abdominal circumference and head circumference. So the great thing about this is that it can be used in real time. Um, so clinicians typically take a couple minutes, let's say, to find the necessary plane, and then it can take up to another 30 seconds or so to actually annotate the plane in an appropriate way. Um, but what you can see here is that our model is able to annotate in real time as the clinician is moving the probe, um, allowing them to potentially stop earlier um, yeah.